Good morning and happy Monday, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And today we're looking at Proverbs chapter 26. And you know, one of the things I love about Proverbs are the word pictures that are in the pages. Uh, Proverbs are just filled with these graphic descriptions of uh, our mistakes, our sin, and just principles in life. Like in chapter 11, verse 22, it says, like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman without discretion. Ha, I just love that. Or how about uh, chapter 12, verse 18, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. I, I mean, just love those pictures. And today we're in chapter 26, and I want to look at verse 11, which has a very vivid and disgusting word picture attached to it. Listen to this. Like a dog that returns to his vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. Isn't that beautifully disgusting? Like a dog that returns to its vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. Uh, I mean, dogs are wonderful creatures, but they're also disgusting creatures. Can we just agree on that? I'm a dog lover, uh, and uh, my, our, our dog just passed away recently, and so, you know, we're kind of grieving that. But, uh, I mean, dogs are disgusting because they'll eat almost anything. It doesn't matter how gross it is. They'll just go ahead and, and chew it up. Like, for instance, a baby's diaper. Right? Some of you have dogs that have devoured a baby's diaper, cleaned out the baby's diaper, and you're like grossed out by that. Or they'll get into the garbage. I know you have dogs that get into the garbage, and you're like, why did you get into the garbage? The garbage stinks, and it's all over the house now. All right, my dog, I had one or two that would eat their own poop. That doesn't get much more disgusting than that, but they would do that. Or how about dirty underwear? I had a dog that literally ate himself to death eating up dirty underwear because all the, the, the threads and stuff got caught up in his intestines, and we had surgery to remove him, and then he threw a clot and died. Uh, he ate himself to death on dirty underwear. How gross is that? And yes, dogs will return to their own vomit. I mean, they'll eat your vomit too, but you know, they'll throw up. You hear them hacking and gagging, and then if you don't clean it up really quick, what do they do? They go back there and start licking it up again. That is disgusting. And that's why the writer of Proverbs uses that as a word picture for us. Because he says that's exactly what it's like when a fool repeats his or her folly over and over and over again. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, why would you keep making the same mistake over and over and over and over and over again? Hmm. But we do, don't we? I mean, have you ever been there? I I've been there, right? I mean, uh, for years I lived beyond my means financially. That was foolish. And I finally, you know, got over that. Or, or how about uh, with food? Anybody else eat too much to the point where they get sick? When I was a child, I did that all the time. Probably didn't help that when you go to a buffet and my parents would say, make sure you eat your money's worth. Yeah, I did. And then I saw it again later on that night when my stomach was upset. Thankfully, I came to the realization that I was being an idiot. <laughs> and then I repented. I repented. Do you know what repentance is? Repentance is saying, hey, that's stupid. I don't want to be the fool repeating his folly over and over and over again. I think I'll stop doing that and I'll start following Jesus and living a wise life instead. That, that's what it means to repent. It says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop doing the destructive habit and I'm going to start following Jesus. So it's true for a fool in any capacity. It's true for an addict who says, I don't want to be an addict anymore. I'm going to get help. I'm going to go to Celebrate Recovery. I'm going to go to AA. I'm going to go to NA. I'm going to go to rehab, and I'm going to kick this thing. It's true for a shopaholic. You know who you are, the Amazon addicts, the people who can't stop spending money they don't have on stuff they don't need. It's true for gluttons. Uh, that's my sin of choice, one of them. I just love to eat too much stuff. I don't need a reason to eat. I just need people and food and because it tastes good. But, but we get fat because of that. It's true for the angry person who is always angry at everyone and everything and all they do is complain and gripe and, and just you know, express that anger outward on other people and, and do damage. It's true for the gossip and the complainer and the person who's lazy or the person who's greedy or the person who's proud. You see, those destructive habits, those mistakes that we make over and over and over and over again reveal the foolishness in our hearts. And God calls us to wisdom. So let's stop being like the gross part of our household pets and let's avoid the vomit. Okay, let's just 
together, let's repent of it. And, and let's confess our idiocy and let's turn away from it and turn to Jesus and let's let Jesus change our lives because that's what he wants to do. So let this verse burn in your image like a dog returns to its vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. Have a great day, Calvary, and uh, let's avoid the puke, shall we? God bless.